What? <laughs> Hello everyone. Sorry about the delay on posting up my next video, but I thought now that I've got a little bit of free time on my hands, I might give it a shot. So you'll notice that we're in a different setup here. Um, I'm already in a world. You can see there's some buildings being made. And I have an idea. Let me hear what you think about it. But the idea is I've had a lack of inspiration for tutorials. So I thought I could inspire myself by creating a new series. And so the goal of this series is I want to make an adventure map. And so I thought if I created an adventure map and had you guys along watching me do it, then I could not only show you tutorials, but show you me putting those tutorials into practice. And so together we can build a large scale map, I think would be pretty fun. Um, and I'll just show you all the techniques that I used. So you'll see here that I have, as I mentioned before, got a few things set up. Um, including you can see I've already got custom NPCs installed but what you will notice when I go to script I haven't got the scripting language installed and so this was something that lots of people asked me about so I'm going to shoot over into a new window and show you how I set that up so here we are in the Minecraft launcher here we want to open up our mods folder so to do that we can go edit profile and this should be your forge install and you can click open game do now here we can see our mods folder you should know about this folder because this is where you chuck all your mods but what we want to add here is a nashhorn.jar file now to get this file if we open up a new window you can generally type percent java underscore home and then another percent sign this should generally take you to where Java is. And you can see here that I'm running Java 1.8. This is essential. If you're not running 1.8, you won't have the nashorn.jar file. So you may need to update Java. But if all goes well and you end up here, to find the file you want, you wanna go onto the JRE folder, then your lib folder, then your ext folder, and then finally you can see nashorn.jar. Now you can just copy that and put it in your mods folder and it should be working now if the java home didn't take you to the correct place a lot of the time it's in your c drive program files then java and this would be a java install but see this is 1.7 so i don't actually have the nashorn.lib here i looked in the wrong folder but you can see nashorn isn't there so if, if it's not in your folder, you need to update to Java 8. Um, I don't know where it is on Mac or Linux. If someone else knows, leave it in the comments. You could probably help someone out. But now let's boot back into Minecraft and see if it worked. And we're back in. Just as everything loads, we can test to see if it worked properly. We can right click, aha, and you can see ECMA script. Um, that if you don't know ECMA script is actually what JavaScript is called. I don't know why it's got two names, but this is the proper name for it. So now we can enable it and we can give it a test and say interact and just say npc dot say hello there, oh Simon. Now we can interact and you see it worked. Now, as mentioned before, I am running uh, Minecraft 1.8. Um, you can see it's Forge 1.8. This is because I've been following the development of custom NPCs, and he's added a few features here that I can't wait to use, such as builder blocks, copy blocks, scripted blocks, scripted doors, which I mean, if you're working on um, an adventure map, this, this could be lots of fun. I can't wait to get into it, um, but on the downside, a lot of mod packs only use 1.7.10, and there's a reason for that. It's because upgrading mods to 1.8 was actually a bit of a mission. So I there will be some things that don't work in 1.7.10, but I will generally tell you in the episode if it should work or not. 
hopefully, if I remember. If I don't, comment, growl me. But yeah. So this world, exclude the terrible building. Um, it's a work in progress. I know I'm not a great builder, but I'm willing to learn. As I mentioned before, I wanted to make an adventure map. And yes, I've never made one before, so I'm going to be jumping into the deep end here. But this isn't going to be about the map as much as it's going to be about the techniques I use in custom NPCs. And so I'm more than happy to add features that you request into the map. As for the story of the map, um, I'm pretty, I've, I've got a story set in stone, but I am open to suggestions on that as well. Um, the goal is piece by piece, I'm going to each episode add a new feature, add a new quest, and then we're going to go through and we're going to code the quest together. Uh, whether it be a small mini like side quest or a full full quest uh, we'll see maybe the bigger ones we might split into parts or something but yeah so at the moment I haven't got any quests ready to code um, I'll do the first one next episode I just wanted to introduce what's going to be happening and we'll see where things go from here so for anyone wondering what the storyline is going to be, I was thinking it would be fun to try and make a prequel to Minecraft. So give Minecraft a bit of a deeper story. I know there's stories out there on the internet at the moment, and I will build off those, but it should be fun. We'll see how things go. Anyway, I won't leave, I won't drag this on too long. I'll see you in the next episode, ready to make our first quest. Sweet as. See you then. Bye.